Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Recently I did a tutorial on how to smooth skin in Photoshop Elements. What I've done now is I created an action that all you basically have to do is press uh, the play button and it will create all the steps in that tutorial automatically. Photoshop actions are created in the full version, the CC version of Photoshop, so you can't create them in Photoshop Elements, but you can load them into Photoshop Elements, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. I'm using Photoshop Elements 15, but it will actually look and work the same in versions 11 through 15. And if you have a version of Photoshop Elements that's older than version 11, you can still load actions. There's different ways to do it for different operating systems and different versions. So if you want to try it with an older version, I would try Googling how to load actions in whatever version of Photoshop Elements you have. Let's assume that you've downloaded the action from the link that I provided you. All you have to do is go up to the window menu and click on actions and the actions panel will appear. Now you see there's already four action sets inside of the actions panel. These are action sets that come preloaded with the elements. There's one for adding bottom borders and there's a little arrow that we can click on next to the folder icon and it shows the actual actions inside there. So there's here's one action that's for adding a one inch white border. Here's another action and here's another action. Inside these sets there's individual actions that you can choose from. Let's look at this resize and crop. There's several different actions in there. There's one for all these different sizes that you can crop your image to and if you tip down these arrows next to the actual action it shows the steps that were recorded so I'm going to tip these back up by clicking on them and now we're going to add our action set that's the one that you downloaded from the link that I provided so to load it into your action panel you just click on this flyout menu and then go down and click on load actions and then you can navigate to wherever you downloaded the action to on your computer. So here's mine so I can just double click on it and it gets loaded into the action panel. There it is there, smooth skin. And if I tip it you'll see there's only one action called smooth skin and if I tip it these are all the steps that this action will perform so it's gonna copy the background layer and then it's gonna invert that layer and then it's going to change the blend mode to vivid light and then I added a stop as soon as you play this action it'll do all these steps and then when it gets to this point it's gonna stop in the stop I put a message and the message explains what you need to do in the next part of the action because the next part of the action is gonna bring up the high pass dialog box you have to choose some options from there remember it has that slider you choose um, a pixel amount I think we use like 23 in the tutorial it varies depending on the size and resolution of your image that's why I put the stop and put the instructions to let you know what you're gonna have to do next after that stop then it goes to the high pass filter dialog box and then there's another stop right away because it's going to go to the Gaussian blur dialog box and that's that's another dialog box where you're gonna have to put in your custom settings whatever looks good for that specific image we add the black layer mask and then make the brush tool active. Also make sure that the uh, foreground color is white. Those are all the steps that this action is going to do. Why don't we just run the action and you can see how it works. You don't want to click on the action set. You want to click on the action itself inside the set and then click on the play button. And now it says next the high pass dialog box will appear. I type this in just to let you know what's going to be happening and what to do. It says use the radius slider to make the skin look smooth and even 
then click OK. Those are the instructions for when the High Pass dialog box appears. Then it says, now click Continue to go to the High Pass dialog box. So I'll click Continue. And there's the High Pass dialog box. And I'm going to set it to about 23 or so. And then click OK. And now another message comes up right away and says, next, the Gaussian blur dialog box will appear. Use the radius slider to bring back just a little of the skin texture, then click OK. After telling you what to do, it says now click Continue to go to the Gaussian Blur dialog box. So I'll click Continue, and there's the Gaussian Blur dialog box. And I'm going to set this to 4 pixels. Click OK to continue on with our action. And now we're at the end of the action. It added a black layer mask and it selected the brush tool and made the foreground color white so now all we have to do is adjust the size of our brush if we need to with our left or right bracket keys smooth over the skin I'm not going to do the whole thing because we did that in the tutorial but if you have a photo where, where you want to use this skin smoothing technique you can just run this action by clicking the button and you know it's a lot quicker than going through all the steps yourself. That wraps up this video on how to load and run an action in Photoshop Elements. So until next time this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com saying take care.